Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and right now I'm going to go over Amazon and Tesla stock. There are a couple things I want to go over that are very crucial to understand moving forward in the stock market. So we're going to look at Amazon right now on the daily time frame. And so what we have right now is a complete breakdown of a couple things. So Amazon was trading in this pattern right here since about August of 2020, and we broke down from this point. We back tested here and we got rejected. So that was the first signal to be bearish here on Amazon in the short term. The second thing being we are under both our 50 day SMA and our 100 day SMA. And then today we actually closed below our 200 day SMA. So that is very bearish in the short term. So if I kind of zoom this in onto the 30 minute time frame, so we see what happened. We had a clean break of this line. We never got that back test on this line. So I do expect to see a back test of this 200 day SMA sometime in the near future. But today we just had a complete breakdown with the NASDAQ having a heavy correction day today as well. And so if we're looking at Amazon, one of the best companies in the world right now, we did break down from our pattern and we are sitting below all three of our SMAs. And so we are trying to find a bottom right now on this downtrend. And it does look like we have some support here at around 2900. And so we could bleed down even further here for Amazon. However, with the stimulus package that is proposed right now of $1.9 trillion, if that gets passed here by the Senate sometime this week or next week, that will be a huge boost to the overall markets. And that could be a very nice opportunity to buy this dip. And so the way I am seeing this package is the following. If it gets passed, I do expect there to be a lot more confidence in the stock market in the short term. And that crash that everybody expects is not going to happen. Instead of the market crash, we're going to get a market correction. And that is exactly what we're getting right now. And so we're getting a very sector specific correction. And so I say that because if I look at what happened today, the Nasdaq was down 2.7%, S&P 1.3, and then the Dow was only down 0.39. So that is telling me that we are getting some sector rotation. Money is leaving this overvalued Nasdaq tech sector and moving it into more value-based plays. And so I made a video, my first video on this channel talking about the best investment of 2020. That would be STNG. I just want to quickly just look at STNG chart. It was up 7.65% today. One of the best value plays in the market, in my opinion, got absolutely crushed throughout the entire bull run for the tech sector and if you kind of just look at it it looks like it's primed to make a nice move to the upside and so this is obviously one of my favorite plays one of my biggest personal holdings as well in my portfolio and and so the fears that a lot of people have is a general market crash. I don't think that's what we're going to get. You can just tell by the way these percentages are, we're getting more of a sector rotation. And so for looking at the chart for an STNG, looking extremely bullish, but we're looking at a chart for Amazon looking a little bit bearish right now in the short term. And so that brings us now to Tesla. And so we're looking at Tesla here on the daily time frame. And just from our chart, we still have a little bit more downside pressure. And so I say that because this uptrend line right here has been a trend line that we have been following since 2019 and anytime you get any interactions around this line it does pose as good opportunities to buy the stock and i don't think this time is going to be any different i do believe we may see a little bit more downside in the short term but because of the potential stimulus package that could get passed anytime this week or next week i do think that's going to be a huge catalyst and i think that should give investors more confidence to buy the dip instead of fearing for a crash because again a 1.9 trillion dollars is a lot of money that is going to get re-injected back into this market and so if we're just kind of looking at the big dogs they are crumbling but we do have news that could potentially change that in the flip of a switch and so when we see the red today we are kind of seeing this as buying opportunities in the short term for quick trades however with that being said the market usually likes to do things that are opposite of what you're thinking so if i'm assuming that the stimulus package is going to boost the market i could be completely wrong and the stimulus package news could come out and the market could completely tank and so that is just how the market goes we're looking at these technical indicators and it does not look good right now for amazon amazon's below all the smas and it did close below the 200 tesla is looking a little bit better holding above our 100 day and our uptrend line so we really need to hold this for tesla this is that very last line here for tesla until we start to see further downside 
And so that was my quick little update here on Amazon and Tesla. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. We are on that road to 10K subs. So if you made it to this point, feel free to hit that subscription button. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.